personages of otherly worldliness. So today I'm bringing you the weekly reading for August 22nd to August 28th. It is almost September, oh my gosh! And we are right in the full moon. Well, full moon was a couple of days ago, but technically, you know, we're still in the full moon. So a lot of, um, a lot of stuff going on for us. I don't know if this is like kind of a thing, but I have been showing you guys the crystals that I have been carrying around with me. I have been carrying around this little guardian angel crystal. I've been really into, you know, angels and things like that. Um, I would say within, you know, the past six months, um, I'm just, you know, all sorts of celestial beings and otherworldly beings and things like that. I figure, hey, you know, I can get all the, I, I will take all the help I can get. So, um, actually this, um, kind of stood out to me. I got this uh, down to South American import shop down in um, Old Town San Diego and it's a smoky quartz um, angel and although it's a little imperfect it's got you know kind of these little cracks and stuff in it. I thought it was really cute and it really spoke to me so it stays on my nightstand and I used it in today's um, Instagram uh, picture that I took so go and have a check out of that on my Instagram page and the information for that is below. Today I wanted to work with the Guardian Angel Tarot card deck. I just kind of felt that um, you know we've been doing a lot of work. There's been a lot of chaos going on. There's been a lot of change for people happening. Um, people are thinking about leaving their jobs. Some people are thinking of uh, switching jobs. Some people are thinking of you know switching career directions entirely. Um, there are a lot of people that are trying to take a hold of their health, um, you know, um, there's a lot of relationship shifting that's going on, so there's a lot of stuff and throw every, you know, on top of everything is, you know, full moon. So I figured, you know, I don't want to throw fluff on things, you know, obviously we want the truth and um, things like that, but um, maybe hit us in the face with a pillow instead of a brick. You know, so that's kind of how I <laughs> view the Guardian Angel um, tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. So I will be using these today. So let's go ahead with reading. These are the cards and they have the gilded edges. And since they are so thick, you know, it's a rather large stack of cards. But, you know, I think they're really cute. And, you know, like I've said before, I wasn't, you know, too into like pinks and purples and girly colors in the past. Um, but I think... Uh, because I've been doing a lot of heart healing that I am um, becoming more open to you know, like heart shapes and pinks and angels and things like that and I think that's a good thing you know um, it shows that I'm on the right path that there's I'm doing some good stuff for myself to be able to allow myself to you know take in those those types of things so let's go ahead with this week's reading um, I'm gonna be pulling a card for Monday and Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday, and then a final card for Friday through the weekend. Um, again, this is a general reading. However, I am putting the intention in that um, I, you know, want people to be helped or guided with this reading. So if it's something that resonates with you, then it was definitely meant for you. Um, if you would like a more personalized reading, something that is more individual and for you, then make sure you check out my um, Etsy page and my... Um, Web page in the links down below. Okay, so let's get started. Let's do a little shuffle. I'm putting the intention in that it is to help all who see this video for their highest good. And, whoop, okay, we have when we have a fly out like that, that means that's meant to be seen. So there are two of them here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say that that'll be Monday and Tuesday. So I, I have a feeling those were meant to be seen. Okay, so Monday, Tuesday. Uh, let's go ahead and pick one for Wednesday. Okay, we got Wednesday. And then let's go Friday through the weekend. So, almost ending off August. Not quite the end of August. We'd still have a few days the following week. So this is Friday through the weekend. All right, excellent. Okay, so Monday and Tuesday, uh, I have pulled the Seven of Abundance, which is like the Seven of Pentacles, and the Healer of Thought. Okay, so let's see first what the cards have to say, and then um, let's see what other, you know, downloads of guidance that I get. Okay, so for Seven of Abundance, um, what it says on the card here, 
Have patience. Sometimes dreams grow slowly. Don't worry, the hard work you've invested will bring about a bountiful harvest. This is a good time to prepare because things will soon move forward quickly. Use this time to rest and plan. Okay, there's a lot <laughs> coming down right now uh, for that, but let me read the second card and then um, I kind of want to see how the two uh, bounce off of each other and play together. Okay, so the healer of thought, uh, which would be in the swords realm, it's time to clean up your life. Get rid of anything that clutters your space or makes you disorganized. People who take from you but don't give back should be released as well. You or another person involved in this situation is wise, insightful, and caring, has a wonderful sense of humor, and offers a lot of life experience. Okay, so um, actually I, I have used these cards to pull from um, for my daily card on Instagram, and <laughs> actually it was talking about the same thing, so I'm... I'm thinking that this is something that's kind of important. So um, we've been doing a lot of work, as especially, you know, not only, um, you know, if you're doing these major life changes, you're switching jobs, you're, um, you know, cleaning up friendships and things like that. Um, you know, it, it's a lot of decluttering right now. And it's kind of that's what the full moon brings us as well, is a lot of looking at ourselves on the outside and also looking at ourselves introspectively on the inside and it's time to do a lot of cleanup and so that's kind of why I wanted to use these cards is um, because I know it would be a heavy message and um, instead of getting a brick thrown at us I would rather a pillow. Um, not to say that this is a bad thing but you know it, it's, it's not always fun you know to have to work on ourselves because it's work. You know, um, that's why they call it work. But, uh, you know, myself included, I did a reading for myself this morning and um, there were some things that, you know, I was like, oh, let's see what happy message is for me. And yeah, there was a lot of good messages for me, but there was a lot I, you know, I tend to ignore about myself. And, you know, and all these, these cards are sweet and happy. You know, they, they were like, hey, you know, don't forget you still have to work on this. And I'm like, uh, okay, <laughs> you know, it it hurts, but I know in the end, I will come out a better person and the people around me will benefit as well. Okay, so there are many things that, you know, people want right now. I want a high paying job right now. I want this, you know, argument that I've had to be resolved right now. I want, you know, these conflicts and things. I want everything just done. I want to be done. And these cards are saying we still have a lot of work to do, but have patience because what's waiting for you on the other side is more than you could ever imagine. It's going to be beautiful, it'll be great, and you'll know it when you see it. You know, you won't have to think, hmm, is this what I've been waiting for? No, you're going to know. <laughs> um, and actually, that was a message for me too. So uh, this week's Monday, Tuesday, I think is just as much for you as it is for me. So. Woo! Let's get on to um, Wednesday and Thursday. Okay. Four of actions. So that would be four of wands, which uh, to me is like celebration. So um, let's see what the card has to say first. Your hard work and sincere efforts lead you to a sense of safety, contentment, and financial security. You deserve to take a break and enjoy the magnificent life you've created. It may be time to celebrate a wonderful event, such as an engagement, a wedding, buying a new home, or the birth of a child. Okay, so yes, we're gonna be doing a lot of work, you know, and it's not just gonna be a one-day thing. <laughs> this is something that we're going to continue, but um, what I'm getting is along the way, so we don't get bogged down, so we don't lose our motivation of, you know, working on ourselves and um, what we're doing for others and, you know, things in our life and everything like that is to celebrate the little things. You know, there's 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 so many gifts that are, you know, the universe provides for us. There's people that show up that the universe provides for us and and they're saying to just let your heart be open to those things. Celebrate those things um, so that it will keep you motivated to hey, it's like the little carrot on the stick, you know, okay, I've worked a little bit this is a nice little reward, but it's not my big reward yet. I, it, that's waiting for me. So it's just these little things to keep you going, but if you ignore them, um, then the road's gonna seem 
really difficult. So we don't want that long, hard road, okay? We want a road that is filled with gummy drops. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at Friday through the weekend. A win-win solution, hey! Um, and this is uh, card number 14 of the Major Arcana. Their strength in diversity, by blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. Okay, so all that work that we're doing, um, and like I said, let people come in, let people, you know, help you out. And they might not have the exact same idea you do, but keep an open mind, you know, let's not add conflict <laughs> to everything that we're doing. Not to say that you want to live a conflict-free life, although that would be awesome. Um, but at least listen to what the other person is saying. Don't just hear words coming out of their, their mouth, but listen, take it in. Is there something that resonates with me? Um, are there, is there a piece of that that I, um, I agree with? And can I take my own ideas and add to it and make something wonderful? So have that open communication. Actually, one of my cards for yesterday that I pulled for myself, I do have a little morning routine where I pull a card for myself and it was communication. And so I believe this is um, all about communication. So we are starting off the week um, acknowledging that things that we're working on are going to take a little bit of time. Our hopes and desires and dreams are not going to manifest themselves right away. Um, but we need to just keep plodding along and eventually it will happen. You need to celebrate the little things that come along on our path. Um, so that you can stay motivated and eventually we'll reach the end of the rainbow. And then Friday through the weekend, um, again, the people that you're allowing in or the people that are in your life, listen to them. Have some open communication. Um, don't just try to hear your voice dominating somebody else's. You know, let's, let's have a little bit of compromise. Okay, so it's a lot of heavy messages for this week. Um, and I'm really glad that I used the uh, Guardian Angel Tarot cards. Um, but it's messages we definitely needed to hear. Okay, Woo let's get on to our Oracle card. And kind of in the theme of angels, I decided to use the um, Archangel Oracle cards that I have. Archangel Oracle cards are also by Doreen Virtue. Um, and these, I, I have, you know, quite a few cards <laughs> and um, when I want some good honest answers I I use these because they're directed to the point um, there isn't a whole lot of you know thinking that I have to do it involved I mean I, I still open my mind to you know what other thoughts are coming to me but uh, this is pretty direct so this is why I wanted to use this okay so let's go ahead and pull a card that is an overview for the week an overall message and again if it resonates with you then it was definitely meant for you. And hey, if it resonates with me too, it was definitely meant for me. Okay, so this card just flipped over and it's clairvoyance. Ooh. And here we have Archangel Raziel. I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Okay, so um, what I'm getting for this for the week since, uh, you know, the, the message was definitely to open your heart to uh, experiences, people, communication, and things like that. Um, it doesn't also hurt to have this eye and, you know, your spiritual heart open as well. And what I'm getting from Archangel Raziel is that he's going to help you with that. So allow yourself to be open, meditate if you have to, declutter a few things in your life if you have to so that you can be open to these other messages and open to other people as well um, to kind of help you through this week and not just this week, but help you through your life's path. All right, so on that note, I always do, uh, have a workout uh, for the week, but I decided to change things up uh, a little bit. And since I am a certified nutritionist, I wanted to add a little bit of nutrition. So I have been doing some workouts, uh, you know, not obviously an entire workout plan, but I've been giving people individual workouts that you can add on top of uh, an already existing workout plan. Of course, with any advice that I give you, 
um, always check with your doctor before you start any nutritional plan or um, workout plan. But um, let's go ahead and see what's cooking in the kitchen. All right, I'll see you guys later. So welcome to the nutrition part of our weekly tarot reading. Um, okay, so like I said, I am a certified nutritionist um, and you know, people are so uh, wrapped up in, well, I need to take in this many calories a day or, you know, they, it, you know, wrapped up on the, 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 the number on the scale and things like that. Um, I actually go more towards um, how my body is feeling. So it is a lot of intuitive things um, when we um, get into to nutrition. So those of you that are into numbers, let me actually read off a few numbers of my own so that you guys can get an idea of kind of where I'm coming up from with my nutrition. When it comes to kind of figuring out your body type and things like that, I don't just go off the number on the scale, I go off of your waist to hip ratio um, because when you have a lot of um, let's say adipose tissue and things like that around the midsection um, that tends to put people at a higher risk for, you know, heart disease, diabetes, and things like that, high blood pressure. Um, I also do check on a uh, body mass index, my basal met metabolic rate, which is how many calories it just takes for your body to function, like organs to function correctly, your brain to function correctly, cells to, you know, turn over and things like that. And then I also look at my perceived activity level, um, which is, is it sedentary? Am I just sitting at a desk all day? Do I do a little bit of exercise every day? Is it just a few days a week? Or is it, you know, vigorous, just underneath an Olympian, you know, type um, exercise? Um, okay, so let me read you off a, a few of my numbers. My body mass index is a 20.4, which again is normal for a female. Um, I would say anything under... 18, 17, 16, it's getting kind of low for a female, especially if you're a full-grown woman. You know, you're you're not 14 years old or 15 years old, you're a woman. And my body mass index being a 20.4, which is, you know, within normal weight range. If you are at a 30 or higher, that's considered at risk um, for, um, you know, those things I was talking about before, which is heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, hypertension, and things like that. My basal metabolic rate is 1,352 kcal, meaning calories, that my body just needs to function every day, you know, um, for me to just be alive, to wake up in the morning, for my brain to work, for my liver to function, for my heart to beat, for the blood to move around my body, it takes 1,352 calories. Because I have a perceived activity level of 1.8, meaning I do do very vigorous exercise for 30 minutes or more, at least six days a week or possibly seven days a week. On my seventh day, I try to make it sort of a rest day because I do believe in overtraining, which is just as bad as undertraining. Overtraining is when you're constantly pushing your body to the red line seven days a week. Um, body starts to break down. Um, you start to experience fatigue, tiredness, a lack of motivation, and we definitely don't want that. Um, but I, I do keep a pretty high activity level at least five to six days a week and then I kind of take it easy on the weekends. I still do something, I'm not just sitting on my butt. You know, um, we do live on a really uh, large hill, uh, so um, I, I might go for a walk on the hill or something like that. Overall, I would need 2,434 calories just to maintain what I have. I have calculated the amount of fat on my body and lean body mass. Lean body mass is um, muscle tissue. Um, organs, um, bones, and things like that. So I have 27 pounds of fat overall on my body and 107 pounds of lean body mass. So that's just like all my guts, <laughs> you know, if you were to, to weigh it and, and take out all the fat. So, um, so again, those of you who like numbers, there you go. So what I want to walk you through is just um, what I have in the morning for breakfast, um, my first snack, what I have for lunch, what I have for a snack later in the afternoon, um, and then what I might have after a workout, you know, after I get off of work. Um, and then what I have for dinner changes greatly. So I'm kind of, I kind of have a routine. I'm, you know, a stickler for routine and things like that. So I eat pretty much the same thing every day. 
um, except for dinner. Dinner always changes, but it's always something with meat. Uh, and my boyfriend is the one who cooks dinner, so uh, he might, you know, do a little rub on a piece of tri-tip and uh, put it on the Traeger and, you know, smoke it for, you know, eight hours or so. And we have some delicious tri-tip for dinner, and then he might get some asparagus and, you know, put a little olive oil, a little sea salt on it, and grill it up, and that would be our dinner. So our dinners are really simple. They're not super intricate or covered in sauce or anything like that. So, all right, let's go ahead and get to what's in my lunchbox. Every morning, I always have a couple of eggs. Um, some people think that brown eggs are more healthy than white eggs or healthier. Um, brown eggs come from brown chickens, speckled eggs come from speckled chickens, and white eggs come from white chickens. Uh, the color of the eggshell does not make one healthier over the other. I did notice, however, that when I spent a few weeks in Italy that the eggs were a lot different um, in that country than they are here. When I cracked open the yolks, and P.S. they don't refrigerate their eggs, um, the yolks were brighter than any orange piece of fruit you know, you've ever come across. Hey Wally. Um, and so I did some research and I found that um, they modify our chickens and they give, um, you know, certain shots to our chickens to get the yolks to be that pale yellow that you guys see. Um, which I don't know how I feel about that. Just a couple of fried eggs. I use grass-fed butter um, and just a little bit of pepper and those are my eggs. I really don't add salt to my eggs just because you know, a lot of things that we eat already, nature has already given them sodium, and so I don't like to add a, a lot of extra sodium. My first snack in the morning, if I shake it up, <laughs> it's a little probiotic shot, um, and it's by uh, Epica Cool Plus, and this is also something that I get from Costco. Um, it has a little bit of sugars in it, but it's just a cultured dairy drink, um, and so I have this. I will have a little Tillamoo cheese snack to go with it, and my favorite fruit right now because it's in season is peaches, so I have a little peach as well. Do you like to eat every two to three hours? Force yourself to eat every few hours. Your body gets used to it, and it actually starts burning calories at a more efficient rate. Um, so it kind of sounds weird where you're, it's like you're forcing yourself to eat, and somehow you know you're making your body more efficient and losing weight, but um, look it up. It does. It does work. We use the Stone Free Mini Nons and Non, um, I kind of like how this bread is made as well as sourdough. I try not to eat a whole lot of like bready type things, but if I do, it's going to be sourdough or it's going to be non. Kind of a plain Jane, but I have an avocado sandwich every day for lunch. So a little bit of avocado, a little pink Himalayan salt, again, Kirkland bread. Hey, Costco! Um, no, I'm not like a representative of Costco or anything, but it would be awesome if they sent me free stuff. That'd be so cool. I might have some of my garlic stuffed olives. I know that these are packed full of sodium, but I love olives. So I have like, I have these teeny little containers and so I have like four, four little olives that I have every day. So I just, I also have the fancy mixed nuts which has cashews, almonds, brazil nuts, pecans, macadamia nuts, um, and then it has, it contains uh, peanut oil and sea salt. After my workout, um, I have organic protein, so this is plant-based protein. I was using whey protein for a while, but I, it would make me sick to my stomach. So um, once I made a switch to a plant-based protein, I no longer had that illness to my stomach. I mix it in a little blender ball thingy um, with unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Um, I like unsweetened um, just because I don't need all the added sugars and it's actually a lot less calories. Um, plus, I don't drink regular cow's milk, well at least here in America. When um, I was in Italy or whenever I'm in another country, um, cow's milk over there doesn't affect me like it does here. My boyfriend cooks dinner, so I, um, you know, and that varies, but it'll always involve some sort of vegetable and some sort of, you know, protein and, you know, maybe a little carb in there or a vegetable that acts as a carb. The vitamins that I take every night before I go to bed, um, I take my woman's one, one, one a day because it does have, um, you know, all the vitamins and minerals that I need. I um, also take glucosamine. And that is for my joints, joint health, uh, because I do a lot of exercise. And at one point, I was an NC2A athlete and, um, and a high school athlete. Um, I, I've done a number 
to my body and so I want to make sure that by the time I'm 90 and 100 years old I'm still walking under my own power. I also take uh, the wild Alaskan fish oil um, and this is also good for you know your organs, your joints, um, skin. I notice that my skin's a lot clearer when I do take fish oil and on that fishy note I also take krill oil as well. I like the double whammy of um, omegas in my body. Okay, um, I also take um, hair, skin, and nails, uh, which is a biotin, um, and I do notice that um, a, a difference because I do have really thin nails, um, and I have an extremely long hair, and I just want to keep keep everything running at tip top shape. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I didn't mean to make it so long, but I've never actually done any filming in my kitchen before. Um, hopefully, this gave you some good tips or some ideas about your own nutrition. Again, remember that although I am a certified nutritionist, to always check with your doctor first. All right, so let's get back into the other room. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and peace out! And we're back. So hopefully you guys had fun in my kitchen. Um, maybe you got some new ideas and uh, hopefully um, by taking a look at um, my own nutrition plan, maybe it helped at least spark some ideas for your own nutrition, your nutrition plan for you. Um, but you know, definitely um, talk to your doctor first, you know, before starting any type of nutrition plan. You know, obviously people's body types and things like that are different, um, you know, for calorie intake, carb intake, protein intake, and things like that. And, you know, some people are vegetarians, some people are meat eaters, and yada, yada, yada. So, thanks for hanging out with me today, and I will see you guys next week, and peace, love, and chicken grease. See you guys.